we started to think about we should talk with someone that we've never met before. That like the minute we show up, it will actually be the first time that we ever meet them as well. Crystal and Hope are the people that we chose over the course of the last few years. I have seen these two commenting and, and engaged in not just our band, every band, but both experienced tremendous physical uh, tragedy in their 18th year, so when they were very young. 18 years old, I was brutally stabbed in the head right here with a tri-tipped arrow. It was then ripped out and um, some total strangers took me to the hospital. I said, you know, why didn't you guys just let me die? You had me sign a deathbed confession of what happened. You know, why did you save me? I don't want to live like this. You know, I didn't want to go on at first. It did um, fracture the bone here. I have um, part of the shards from this bone inside of my brain. I'm blind in that eye. I've had 25 surgeries to repair everything except my vision. It's just a lot of anger, you know, and sadness. And I still struggle on days. You know, I don't know how I'm going to feel when I wake up with a brain injury. You don't know uh, the feelings that you're going to have in your head for that day. Well, I was 18 and I was in Springfield and I was coming home. It started sleeting really bad. It hit black ice and hit a covert and flipped. And I didn't have my seatbelt on. And I went hang halfway out the, the, my sunroof. The next thing I know, I woke up in the hospital and they were trying to put a tube up my nose. And I don't ever, ever remember them telling me I was paralyzed. I remember my mom and dad coming in and seeing me. They um, told my mom and dad that I probably wouldn't live. I just didn't want to live for the longest time. I, did. I was just so depressed. And then I made it home for graduation. And I was so embarrassed of being in a wheelchair that I wouldn't look at my friends at graduation. I wouldn't look up at them. And they were all clapping when I came in. And I was just embarrassed. I regret that. I had a lot of support from my family and friends. And, I decided, you know, I didn't want to sit at home and waste my life away, and so that's when I decided to go to college, you know, and if it wasn't for music, me listening to music, music, you know, making me happy and making me strong to get out of bed. And we started sharing our interests with music with each other. It just grew from there. Like, my very first concert was when I was 14, like she was, and I went and saw Cinderella, David Lee Roth, and Extreme. I just remember the goosebumps when I heard the songs. Music just makes my whole entire world, no matter what's going on, just, I have to have it every day, every second. We just tie music into every aspect of our life. If she can't do a show, I don't do a show. When I go to the shows and I'm sitting right there and people are looking at me and I don't care what they think, and. I just zone out and I'm all about the performance, the lights, the, just the experience. It's, it's, a it's my time. Because you don't know what 20 years down the road is going to bring. The experiences you're going to have, the people you're going to meet. Don't give up because it really does get better. Even in the darkest hour when everything's telling you it's not going to get better. It's, you know, it's going downhill. It's not getting better. It does. You won't see it right then. Just keep going, because it does. While Joey was doing an interview, I was um, essentially babysitting uh, the, the two boys. We didn't know what to expect, but we ended up just learning about how deep these people's lives are and how much love that they share. And when we left, I realized that like, if I saw them at a show and if I talked to them at a merch booth or a VIP event, I would never know the depth that they have and the family and the love and the just the experience of what it's like to be on their turf. She loves the songs where it talks about taking someone to the ground or it takes talks about grabbing someone with all your might and that's the closest she'll ever get to do it. And no, I, you don't think about that. You don't think about that. Ever. Um, but now I can 
never not think about that. And that is a fulfillment.